Okay, so after updating, okay, so after updating the new and old version of the Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K, um, we're going to do some tests. So right now we're going. Yep. So, so after, so after updating the. So after updating the latest firmware. So after updating the latest firmware. So after so after updating both camera to the latest firmware uh, app. So after using so after updating the newest firmware. So after updating the so after updating two camera So after updating two camera at the latest firmware So after updating the new So after So after updating two little So after updating two camera at to the latest firmware So after updating two cameras at to the latest firmware So after two So after updating two so after updating both of the camera to the latest latest firmware. So after updating both of the camera to the latest firmware. So after updating both of the camera to the latest firmware, the latest firmware fixed the 22026 date bug. I don't know what. After updating both of the camera to the latest firmware, so we're going to compare the version one and the version two, um, the image quality test. So before the test, before the test, there is a new resolution. So before the test, there is a new resolution. I didn't found. So before the test, before the test, the. So before the test, the. So before the test, the run Kim thumb. So before the test, the. So before the test, the resolution. There is another two different. X view mode. I don't know what. So before the test, there is a new stuff in the app. I don't know. I didn't figure out it before. In the resolution, there is a 4K 30 frame per second, but there is a 4K 30 frame per second X view. What is this? We're going to try it out later. But right now, we're going to do the stuck. Uh, the out of the box image quality test. So right now these two camera, the version one and version two, are out of the box because I just update the firmware. So right now you are looking at the version one and version two. Um, this is without image stabilization. This is out of the box raw video, and we're going to add some gyro flow on top of these two footage so you can i don't know because i didn't view the image right now but i think the field of view is much much more wider and much more usable on the version 2 so, okay so this is the stock setting i have no idea mm, what's the image quality and yeah the audio is from both of the camera uh, Jesus Christ okay so okay so okay so okay so right now okay so right now we're going to double press the okay so right now we're going to double press the QR code function and do some tweaking in the app So right now we're going to double press the 
So right now we're going to double press the power button to enter QR code mode. Jesus Christ. So right now we're going to double press to enter QR code mode and do some twig tweaks. So right now we're so right now we're going to double press the power button and enter QR code mode and we're going to do some tweaking in the app and figure out what's the best settings for these two cameras. Okay, so right now. Okay, so right now the video quality is at high on both camera. Oh, actually, there are all. Okay, so the same settings on both of the camera, the version one and version two, were all at high video quality, and we're at four K thirty frame per second. And we are going to try out the uh, the X view later. But right now it's at 4K 30 frame per second. Uh, the shutter and sensitivity, the ISO, I all set them to auto. Um, we're going to test it out later. And uh, color style, flat color. Saturation, medium. Exposure, I set it to minus one dB because uh, usually the camera is better at low light. Um, you can um, <clears throat> because usually you can pull more details in a low light situation but if your image clip at the highlight you cannot save that image so I set the EV to minus one contrast low sharpness low and white balance to sunny yeah, I think that's all. So let's try out the new resolution, the 4K X view. What is that? Okay, so right now you are looking at the footage from the Ron Kim Thumb Pro. So right now you are looking and listening to the footage and audio from the Ron Kim Thumb Pro version 1 and also version 2. So right now the, ver uh, the resolution is at 4K 30 frame per second X view. I have no idea what is X view and is it wider or I don't know. <laughs> this is the cool resolution 4k 30 frame x view